it's Mandy at Chaley at the Life Skills Centre. Um, I hope you're all doing well and uh, I'm missing you loads and I hope that you're missing me too and fingers crossed you'll be back at the Life Skills very soon. Um, this afternoon I thought we'd do some baking. Uh, how would you like to make scones? I thought we could do some sweet ones and some savoury, so that's up to you, the ingredients that you add in. Um, so here we go. So we start off with washing our hands, give them a good scrub, get rid of all the germs. And then we dry them. Make sure they're lovely and dry. And then knowing you guys and how messy that we all get, we're going to put an apron on. So these are the ingredients that we need for this recipe. We need 680 grams of self-raising flour. We need 100 grams of butter. We need four tablespoons of cast sugar. Four teaspoons of baking powder, some milk that uh, we need to mix it all together, and then the extras. If you want to do a savoury recipe, you've got cheese, so there's some parmesan and there's some cheddar, you've got some mixed herbs, you've got mustard powder to give it a bit of kick or you could use fresh herbs and ice. If you want to make a sweet recipe, then there's some dried fruit, so sultanas, um, cherries, anything like that. Or, if you've got a real sweet tooth, with well, some chocolate, so you could uh, break the chocolate up into little pieces or grate it, and then we'd add that to the mix. So here we go. Okay, so to start with, you've weighed all your ingredients out and we're going to sift the flour. It seems a lot of flour, but I've been well informed by Debbie, who makes these in the cafe, that it's the right amount. So we're going to sieve and get the lumps out. See, even I make lots of mess. There you go. So we've sieved the flour. And then you're going to add the baking powder. I can see you. There you go. We're going to add the diced butter. So once you've measured your butter out, dice it up. And then it's all going in with the butter. And then your next step is you're going to rub the butter into the, into the flour so that you end up with it looking like, uh, like a breadcrumb texture. So that's what you need to get on with now. So we're rubbing in the butter into the flour. It's been lovely actually today because I've been here all by myself. I haven't had the rabble around. So uh, peace and quiet. <laughs> Especially one or two of them in particular. I'll give you a clue, one of the chaps. <laughs> and actually saying that, one or two of the women, uh, especially that one out in the kitchen, oh, she's trouble. Do you need any hands? Oh. Rubbing in the flour into the butter. Get 
rid of all the lumps. recipe, you're still going to add the sugar, because there's not a great amount, there we go, mix it all in, so you've got the flour, the butter, the baking powder and the sugar, now depending on what uh, type of scones you want, whether you want savoury or whether you want uh, sweet, this is where you add the extras. So sweets, uh, fruit or chocolate, or you've got your uh, savoury with your mixed herbs and roughly a teaspoon of mustard powder. Mix it all in. So we're going to add the milk to the dry mixture. Here we go. There we go. Mix it all in so it combines. And once you've combined it all, <laughs> once you've combined it all, <laughs> it's like there's this strange woman that's crawling along the floor. And they say I'm mad. So once you've combined it all, then you're going to roll it out. So we are rolling our dough out, just like that, and it needs to be roughly an inch in depth, so half a finger length maybe, but it depends I suppose on what length the fingers are. Okay, so you've got your cutters. to be a little bit wet and too dry. So you're going to cut the cut all your scones out. There you go, place them apart and then just with some milk go over the tops. give them a nice colour when they've been in the oven. Okay, so there's enough there to make probably about eight. Um, they go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes on approximately 180 degrees. Um, slightly higher if it's not a fan oven. And yeah, 15 to 20 minutes they should be ready. And these 
little ones are just plain, but yours could be yours could be cheese or the fruit ones. So just wait for them to cool down a little bit and open them up with a little bit of butter. Lovely. So enjoy everyone.